Like my other projects that I hacked together, <laughs> this one is a lot nicer. Uh, we like to use guesswork as to know what we're doing. So here's the basic sounds. So there are these knobs here control the sound that each of these buttons make, or the speed rather. So you see that's quite quick. Turn it that way. It becomes a laser beam button. Or drum and bass. It's this one. Oh, noisy. So, that's a nice one. Does that sound like someone exploding in scorched earth? It does, doesn't it? I like that one. And bass you tend to hold down. So all of this is reprogrammable using the source code available over at uh, the creator's website in the link, uh, description below as a link. So you can increase the These potentiometers are fantastic. But now the beauty of it is, is that it's also got a sequencer built in. So we're just playing whatever the default standard example is there. Turn the tempo up, that's the tempo knob over here. I don't know what it's doing. It's blinking. What does blinking mean? Oh well, let's just... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> ah! I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Oh, I'm still in some sort of programming mode. Oh, okay. Ah! Whoa! That's peaceful. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this looks like something I programmed in. This needs to sound like lasers. There we go. Look at me, I'm at a drum and bass convention. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. Oh God, I need to change that one, how do I? Let's turn these off. Let's turn this one on. I think that's right. Now it should just do the doof doof. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, let's add in something else that isn't just that one noise. Let's add in... Let's add in these, this little bass line here. Pretty sure that was all of them. Now you got to remember, by no means am I a professional DJ. tempo right down so it sounds even worse now you can also configure the device to determine whether it uses the internal 8 megahertz clock of the 18 mega 328p or whether it uses the external uh, crystal there which is uh, 16 megahertz 
Uh, you do that by holding something down. So I need to go look at the documentation for that. But thanks for watching this, uh, dare I say, quick little example. Because I turned the tempo up, it's a quick little example of the lunch beat. A one bit noise machine. Oh, this is hours of fun. I'll be sure to make a video when I actually make something that doesn't sound like a laser beam being fired next to a Geiger meter, Geiger counter. <laughs> it works! I programmed the sequencer! I'm so bad at it. Tempo works. Everything works. Of course, I can always play my favorite saved song. If it's still in there. Still there? Or is it gone? Whoa. Oh, the tempo's right down. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Whoa, they weren't kidding when they said you have to hold down that button for a long time. You have to hold it down for like 20 seconds. <laughs> but there we're, we're in, um, uh, what is it? Setup mode. Uh, tempo LED flashes rapidly. I can select internal or external clock and division factor of uh, trig synchronization. That should be interesting. I don't have another lunch beat yet. Well, someone I know will, will have one very soon. Oh dear God, I've made actual techno! Yeah! <laughs> this is scary. Oh, tempo. Oh dear God, that turns the tempo up. Is my switch on backwards? Progressive trance! <laughs> into full-blown techno! <laughs>